Isn't technology wonderful? It can make our lives so much easier. Case in point, lightweight, good enough to carry your entire life worth of documents, your birth certificate, credit card information, passport, copy your passport, everything. Well, it can fit on one smaller than 16 gigabytes. You know, the, the bigger stuff comes when you start adding pictures and stuff. Okay, but basically you can put all your stuff in one of these. Okay, but unless you know how to do it properly, it is a very, very bad thing. There's a program called TrueCrypt. It's free, open source. I do recommend to everybody that downloads it to send the uh, people that develop it five, ten bucks. Okay, it's open source, but in order for these people to to keep working, it's it's difficult to maintain software of this complexity. So uh, it, there is nothing at all wrong with you donating to these people's cause to keep the software free. All right, it's called TrueCrypt. It will encrypt this, and always remember to make a good encryption create. Now TrueCrypt is such a good program I'm going to do a separate video on it because it is uh, the, the government can't crack it. I don't care what you say. They can't crack it. TrueCrypt people can't crack it. <laughs> There's no back doors. Uh, and it has up to 256 bit encryption. Double encryption. That means you en it encrypts it and then it uses a separate secret key to encrypt it again so you know unless you've got the password you you ain't getting the information so that means you too so if you encrypt your information with that software you will not see it again unless you remember that key okay that being said that's not really what this video is about this is wonderful if you want to put all your children's photos your children's fingerprints all that stuff, encrypt it and keep it on this, along with the e decryption program. Uh, TrueCrypt allows you to put a little decryptor program on here, so when you're going to put it into somebody else's computer, you can run the TrueCrypt from this. You don't run it off of their computer, you run it from the thumb drive. Now, that being said, like I said, this is great for your keychains. But let's say you want to back up your data a little more substantially something a little more prepper like should we say well then for the last few years there's been only one company to make such a device and it's reasonably priced it's usually about five dollars more than one of those it's the Corsair Survivor let me get it off here oh, 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 yeah, get Ricky the raccoon situated back up here so he can see what's going on. This is the uh, Survivor by Corsair. And basically what it does when you've got it in this fashion, it is in a miniature Faraday cage. It is completely, all the electronics are completely encased in an aluminum shell. And you can run over this with your truck, and it will come out. Okay, I mean, it, it's made to take a beating and keep on ticking, waterproof, all that wonderful, all that wonderful stuff. However, you're not going to do that for something you're use, using for archival storage, okay? Basically, what you're going to do with this is you're going to, once a month, you're going to go up out, under the shed, pull out the ammo can that's in the wall of the shed or whatever, and you're going to pull this out, and you're going to bring it in the house, and you're going to put any new documents on it that you need to. In other words, if you need to update it, do it. You may want to do the one that you that you have buried under the chicken coop. <laughs> you know, your ammo can buried under the chicken coop. And by the way, as long as you bury an ammo can under a roof that doesn't get wet, it's fine. It won't it won't hurt it. it. Don't bury it out in the yard that it gets rained on though. Anyway, so you've you buried this and it's good to go. 
you've got good backup. Of course, don't get me wrong, paper is the ultimate. You need to keep copies of your paper stuff in one of those fire safes inside of another fire safe. So get get a good uh, a good uh, fire safe and uh, put it in your crawl space or uh, any fire safe needs to be up against an outside wall of a house. That way, if there was a fire, uh, all the embers pouring in don't go against that. So, uh, you know, so, uh, hey, if you had a fireplace you wasn't using, put the fire safe in the fireplace. Anything to protect the fire safe from being buried in burning embers. Anyway, uh, Personally, I have two of these, you know, and I will back them up and I'll put them out. And then, of course, I've got the encrypted one with my, uh, when I carry with me that's encrypted. Now, you may or may not want to encrypt the ones you have hidden. This may be something you want a family member to find and be able to access. In case of your death, they may not know your encryption code. Or you may have a, uh, here's an idea, get a family a family key and uh, and just say like, uh, for me, I, I would, something simple for my family would be S-A-R-T-I, okay? That would be our encryption code. Just an example, don't get your panties in a wad. And I'd say, okay, that's our encryption code and that would get you access to all the passwords and everything that I have. But that would only be in the buried hidden vault that say only my brother and my nephew know, knew where that was at. They would be the only two that know where that drive was at. It wouldn't be something I carry with me. It wouldn't be something that was around my neck. That would be in a hidden drive. Okay? So I'm saying if you carry one of these and you got your personal data on it, encrypt it. This right here is for archival. If you want to archive stuff, or let's say you're, uh, I don't know, you may want to encrypt this too. Maybe you're a soldier over, going over in Afghanistan and, and something's going to get really rugged. You know, you're going to have a lot of abuse. Uh, you want may want to put all your MP3s on one of these. <laughs> you know, they, uh, you know, because let's face it, these things are kind of fragile. Uh, let's say you wanted to keep all your MP3s with you overseas. Uh, this would be a good way to back them up. So as of this date, and this is there's nobody I have seen that has invented one of these any better. Corsair has, and it's not that expensive. I think the eight gigabyte one's like twenty bucks. Uh, this sixteen gigabyte one is thirty bucks, and now they make them USB 3.0. Uh, I think up to 128 gigabytes. Now, I don't have that much personal information to put on one. An 8 gigabyte one holds all my personal information. So, uh, you know, that extra gigabytes, if you want to back up the family photo album, stuff like that, go ahead. Back up the family photos and uh, bury it under your chicken coop in the ammo box. You know, with all your, uh, with it, with your extra ammo and stuff. <laughs> uh, but you also need to back up your paper stuff. But this here, as long as you encrypt it, there are wonderful things you can have access to your, uh, like your insurance information, all that, wherever you go. But you need to encrypt it because if you drop it and somebody with, any intelligence. I mean, look at me. I could do it. I could get in here and get all your personal information, fill out credit cards in your name. Huh? Yeah. So you have to encrypt these things if you're going to carry them with you. And I'll put a link to TrueCrypt uh, below this video.